So becoming a staff or a principal engineer at a big organization like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Uber, etc. is a massive milestone for any IC. It requires you to have significant depth, breadth and proven impact in your career. It is like a great barrier that very few engineers are able to cross. And as per my experience, here are the five key things that will help you cross the barrier and become a staff at a big organization. The first one is having deep technical expertise. When you're eyeing that next level, what would happen is you would be considered as a subject matter expert, having deep understanding of the product that you are working on, of the technologies that you are working on. As a staff, you will be the go-to person for anything engineering in your team. People would look up to you to drive complex projects, to put, to solve complex engineering problems. Right? You will be the face of the team for not just inter-team inter-team collaboration, but even cross-team interfacing where you're working with some other team getting things done. You are the one who need to have that nice, you need to have that knack to solve complex engineering problems, which is why having deep technical expertise gives you that confidence to talk to other teams, ensure there are no blind spots in the projects you drive things to completion, which is why first point, having deep technical expertise. Second is having proven leadership experience. Keyword proven, right? For you to go to that next level, being a staff, staff typically tackles a lot of complex problems, which directly impacts the business and the revenue, which means that given there are high stakes, they need people who have done their things, who have done their job really well in the past, who is not just are good engineers, but are someone who can get things to production, who has done it, who has proven experience in leading complex stuff. So you should be having so for you to reach that next level you need to have led at least multiple projects at least a few projects that has significant impact and were complex enough because typically when you from your transition from a senior engineer to a staff the the, the complexity typically triples at least triples which means that you should have led complex projects delivered them smoothly and on time and that proven leadership experience showcases on your profile and that is the badge that everyone is looking at right? and one very important thing on leadership is that for you to go to the next level what you need to showcase is extreme ownership why i'm talking about ownership over here because when you are at staff and if your manager needs to follow up with you to get the status update about the project to ask what are the pain points and whatnot. If manager has to put in efforts in managing you, that is a red flag. So what you need to showcase is extreme ownership in anything and everything that you are doing. With this, what you make, you make your manager's life simple. You are not someone who needs to be followed up again and again, but instead you are proactive. You are showing extreme ownership in driving things to completion and that matters a ton at staff slash principal slash distinguished engineer level. Right? Third point, lack of, uh, third point is around uh, influence. So influence is really important for you to reach to that next level. That like extending to the first point where you are the go-to person for anything engineering in your team, similar to that, you need to build an influence within your team where you are that person. And not just within your team, but within your sub-organization. And it would be better if you do it at organization level. That people, like you, people should be reaching out to you. People should be thinking about you the first thing when a problem in a particular domain crops up. That, hey, if no one, this person would have answer for that. That kind of influence is essential. And this influence is not just about building a brand sort of stuff. It's more about asking those critical questions that challenge their decision that they would feel a need to consult you before they before they take the next step. They trust you on this. Having this influence is really matters because people within your team across organization would look up to you. Hey, this guy or this girl knows stuff. Let's just consult him or her once and really important. Fourth point is around proven business impact. Now it's really important that you are not just a good coder but you are a good programmer or an engineer who builds stuff that positively increases the revenue or the profit of your business. It's really essential because you're not just being paid to code. You are being paid to make an impact. 
and this impact is very easily quantifiable in terms of dollar value so for you to again for you to reach to that next level you should have some significant business impact that you are that you brought in the past and it would be best if it can be quantified in a dollar value if you have led something significant which has raised or which has increased the revenue of the organization you are more likely to be promoted to a star and because when you go there you have to do that exact same thing but 3x more difficulty you would be leading multiple projects having multiple or significant business impact really critical for you to own that charter right so it's not just about the efficiency of the code you write but when it translates into monetary gains for organization that is a huge plus and that is what is also essential for you to reach the next level the next one the fifth one for you to next to reach the next level counterintuitive but really important that you need to have you need to gain the trust of your manager at the end your manager is the one who would be be putting forth your proposal for your promotion who would who should be fighting for you for the promo who will be fighting on behalf of you for that promotion right with other stakeholders because positions are very limited every manager needs to fight for you for that to happen the first thing first and the foremost thing that needs to be taken care of that your manager should have trust in you and your abilities if that's not the case it's very hard for you to reach to that next level so gain the trust of your manager and a lot of people think of it in that other direction that hey is gaining trust of my manager equal to boot licking no i am not asking you to lick the boots of your manager but it's more about you and your manager working as a team delivering the impact and that is what matters because that if you cannot earn the trust of your manager who is going to pitch forth your candidature for a promotion none so it's really important that your manager trusts you that hey you are the go to person not just for the team for cross team uh, for anything like anything challenging that comes to your manager's way you are the first person that he or she thinks of that's when you have earned the trust of your manager giving you that opportunity to hit that next level so these are the five points that i really want you to focus on when you are aiming to go from a senior engineer to a staff engineer because now it's not just about coding but about making quantifiable impact at the max level right and this is all this is all what i wanted to cover in this these were the five points that i wanted to highlight for any engineer who are aiming any senior engineer aiming to hit that staff level i hope you found it interesting i hope you found it amusing i hope it helps you crack that next level all the very best with that and if you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up if you guys like the channel give this channel a sub i post deep engineering videos every week and i'll see in the next one thanks a ton